everyone. Welcome. Today I'm super excited because I am here at my favorite Asian fusion restaurant. I'm here at Q. It is this Asian fusion restaurant in the Wynwood neighborhood of Miami, Florida. And this was one of the first restaurants that I ever discovered when I first moved here to Florida. I love it. It's an absolute favorite. It could be casual, you can dress up. The ambiance is very, very nice. They have a great bar, and I'm really glad that it survived. So I'm here today to basically show you some of my favorite plates. We're gonna be eating up a storm. So come for the ride, and I'm gonna take you on a journey. all-time favorites which is the roasted cauliflower it comes with shishito dressing as well as goat cheese it's super delicious actually one of the well-known and most favorite items here to eat if you don't like vegetables you're definitely gonna love this one so definitely try it out I will show you why we also ordered the beef short rib it's beautiful comes with an encrusted pepper layered with four different sauces and various pickled side items and it's just super delicious meat eaters will love this dish we also got the Korean fried chicken and it's one of our favorites it's very flavorful the skin is super crispy and the sauce which is a red peppery uh, butter sauce it's super delicious as well you got to have that and last but not least we're always going to finish off our day here with coconut cake it is so velvety it reminds me of cream cheese but somehow it's an actual cake and the layers are just so thin i don't know how they do it we've asked for the recipe but they won't give it to us and i'll show you why you have to have it hopefully you don't have any coconut allergies my husband who does not really like coconut even he likes that coconut cake so We'll definitely show you what that's all about as well. The roasted cauliflower just arrived and check it out. It's so beautiful and vibrant. And I'm gonna show you how you should uh, basically have this dish. You wanna cut up the cauliflower and then mix it all up in the sauce. So even though it's roasted, it's very tender, it has a good bite and you can see the steam coming out. As I mentioned before, this is one of their most well-known dishes and it's healthy too. Of course, it's super delicious. And you mix it up. Oh yeah, that's goat cheese right there. And it gives it a surprisingly amazing texture and flavor to the dish. I mean, you really can't miss any of the ingredients in this dish. You gotta have that goat cheese, you gotta have that vinaigrette, and you gotta mix it very well in the sauce. About to have our first dish, which is the roasted cauliflower. Mmm. You can never go wrong with this dish. The goat cheese is so creamy, but the cauliflower stands out. And the, the shiso dressing is just a delicious compliment. So, so good. My husband and I have brought all of our close family and friends here, and they all feel the same. They just love the Asian fusion that they bring together here. And they do an excellent job of combining smoky, woodsy flavors with the food. And that's one of my favorite things. It just gives it a very perfectly charred food and they do a great job of that here. Gotta eat the cauliflower so that we can get our next dish because our table is kind of small, but I promise you we'll be finishing this one. Check out the scrape marks on this dish. This is in honor of my friend Mihan, who just loves this particular dish. The sauce is that good. All right, we just got our second dish, which is the Korean fried chicken. Superly crispy, and this red spicy butter sauce is the bomb, okay? Like, you got to make sure you slather it, turn the, the wing and the thighs inside and out with the butter sauce. And of course, there's a little bit of wilted spinach to be healthy, right? So you gotta make sure you keep it nice and balanced and uh, this is a balanced meal. I'm about to try the chicken for you now. All right, oh wow. Look at that, I can hear the crispiness just by like rubbing the chicken thighs in the sauce. Look at this sauce. That is perfection. And the chicken thigh is actually one of my favorite parts of any chicken, quite honestly. I like dark meat because it's always moist. You really can't overcook it, and it's just juicier. Ooh, so good, and this is piping hot. Like, don't hold it for too long unless you're gonna eat it right away. Slather your meats 
in this butter sauce. It is so, so good. Ooh, it's hot. Ow! My fingers. Ow, this is hot. But it's good, and it's hot and crispy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Ooh, it's hot. But it's so good, you can't, like, put it down. Mm. Yeah. Did you hear that? It's so crispy. And it doesn't even feel oily. Mm. So good. The skin is crispy. The sauce is perfectly buttery and spicy, but not not too overpowering. The meat, super, super tender and moist. You can see the steam coming out of that, can't you? I mean, look at it. Honey, can you see the steam? As I'm eating my chicken, I will let you know that you wanna definitely make sure that you make reservations for this place because it gets packed. I think they allow reservations in advance for one month. They also have outdoor seating. And when we signed up for our reservation at 12, our reservation goes for an hour and 45 minutes. Now we have the Raging Geisha. They have some pretty unique Asian flavored drinks here. It smells so good. It comes with whiskey and citrus liqueur. Let's try some. Mmm, very, very refreshing. I can't have too much, but it's always nice to try. All right, as we are waiting for our third dish, which is likely going to be the amazing beef short rib, um, I'm gonna show you a little trick in the meantime. So they uh, offer chopsticks here, and usually when I get one of these chopsticks in the wrapper, I make myself a chopstick holder. So basically take the chopstick paper, fold it into thirds, After you fold it into a third, fold it in half again. Then you want to pinch the, the two ends of the sides in. Does that make sense? Yes. So you're just going to push it like that. And push the other side in, starting with the middle that you created. Now it looks like this. And all you need to do is slightly push the top in. So it's going to look a little bit pushed in, and you can lay your chopstick on it, on the table, instead of on the plate, if that's what you prefer. But yeah, I always make one of these if chopsticks are being used. Hope you enjoyed the little tip. The beef short rib just arrived, and it looks amazing. Let me give you a little bit of a tour of what we have here. This is the yakiniku sauce. It's a little sweet. This is the habanero sauce. It's a little spicy and citrusy. Then we have the Korean barbecue sauce. It's a little sweet as well with a different flavor. And of course the beef short ribs. Look at that amazing view. And last but not least, the chef recommends that you make lettuce wrap. So you basically take one of these butter leaves and you insert some meat, sauce it up, dip it in some salt, pepper, or wasabi, whatever your flavor palette desires. And then if you like pickled veggies, which is a good complement to this fatty dish, you want to make sure that you add some of the pickled onions or the yuzu pickles. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a cute little lettuce wrap. I'm gonna take the smallest wrap or lettuce leaf here, grab one of the ends. Ooh, it's a little hot, but oh my God. Can you, can you see that? It's amazing. Oh gosh. And then uh, basically take the meat, dip it in a little salt and pepper if you please. Let's see, what do I wanna try today? Let's do the yakiniku for now. Oh, I forgot, a little messy add the pickles so you get a little bit of that salty and that fatty and crunchy component all wrapped in one mm. 
Mm. So good. Time to eat. These butter leaves are smaller than what I'm used to. This is hard to really wrap the uh, meat in it. I'm gonna show you what the smallest end look like. It looks like it's about an inch and a half thick. This is like the end of one of the pieces. Kind of hard to wrap it together. But here you go. They also provide some cilantro. Yeah, that's some herbal seasonings. And then, whoops. Uh-oh, I just made a mess. Herbal seasonings, sauce, <laughs> pickles. And that was the Korean barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm eating it. Dip it in a little bit of salt too. Salt and pepper. Mm. Super delicious. I love the pepper crust on the meat. And the sauces are a great compliment. Even the salt and pepper that you can dip your wrap into, it gives it an additional crunchy component, which is great because, you know, you want to have an all-encompassing bite in your food. And of course, depending on your flavor or flavor preference, you have a little bit of sweet, salty, and spicy. Can't really go wrong with any of this. Fatty, crunchy, flavorful, juicy. Mm. Protein lovers, you'll love this. This is the aftermath of the beef short rib. We are finally waiting for the last dish, the finale, which is the coconut cake. And I've just been told that in this cake that we're gonna have, we have coconut cream cheese, which is basically, in my opinion, what makes the cake. It's the secret ingredient that makes the cake super moist, super creamy, super delicious. Of course, you're gonna have to have some sugar to sweeten it, and the lightly toasted coconuts, which give it a very coconutty and crispy texture. So, I am so looking forward to that. It's one of my favorites. It's heavenly. I promise you, if you love a good dessert that's not overly sweet, but like, perfect and just delightful, it's gonna be this coconut cake. The coconut cake just arrived. Look at this masterpiece. Look at its glory. I'm so excited. Oh, and it comes with ice cream too. I forgot to mention that. It's divine, okay? So let's dig into it. I can't wait to show you how it tastes like. Here we go. Some of the ice cream. You gotta get some of that nice toasted coconut. Look at that. All right, I've, I've annihilated it. Mmm. So creamy, crunchy, cold, moist, fluffy, dense. If you haven't had this, you're missing out. This is such a perfect way to end the meal. I hope you enjoyed my meal here at Q today. If you haven't been to Q, or if you're thinking of visiting Miami and you're thinking of places to eat, definitely come visit the Wynwood neighborhood and check out Q. This restaurant is amazing. You'll love it. And as always, if you like the content that I make, don't forget to support my channel. Hit that like button, sign up for notifications, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what dish you think you'd be most interested in. See you next time. Bye, guys.